I am leading a caravan at, in my official capacity as a congressman, uh, working with Moms Demand Action to stop, start in Youngstown and go to Akron and Columbus and Dayton and Cincinnati and pick people up along the way. And we're going to Louisville, Kentucky. And we're gonna make sure that Mitch McConnell knows that there are two pieces of legislation sitting on his desk that he needs to bring up for a vote to actually get some action. And this is not a Democratic or Republican thing. This is an American thing. This is every good-hearted American who's ready to say enough is enough. And we're going to bring a contingent from Ohio down to let Senator McConnell know that we're very, very serious about what's happening here. Senator McConnell says he won't move until the president tells him to. In effect, we have heard from our reporters on the Hill that Republicans privately, of course, not publicly, but many Republicans privately say that if the president gets behind measures, whether it be red flag laws, uh, bans on high capacity magazines, universal background checks, if the president does, then there is the possibility of movement. Did, did you Have you heard anything from this president to indicate to you uh, that he will get behind substantial measures, or do you think he will do what he did after Parkland, for instance, which is make a public statement and then back off? Yeah, I mean, he's going he's gonna to show up. He's going to go to these uh, events today in Texas and Ohio, and then he's going to slow walk this thing. And Mitch McConnell's going to do what he's done every damn time. He just follows the president. And what he's got to recognize is he is in a co-equal branch of government. These, these Republican senators need to go off and, and, and grab the Constitution, dust it off, and read Article 1, which creates the Congress. Article 2 creates the presidency. The first article of the Constitution is, says we are governed by the people. And Mitch McConnell better understand that. And we're going to apply as much pressure as humanly possible. Jim, I can't tell you how sick we are about this. This is happening in too many communities. It's happening in Dayton and El Paso and all of this other stuff. And we're sitting around here waiting for Mitch McConnell to get his marching orders from Donald Trump, who's causing white nationalists to go around shooting people of color in the United States. I mean, give me a break. Come on, Mitch McConnell. I mean, wh where are your guts? You're supposed to be from Kentucky. Everybody I know from Kentucky got a, got a, got guts. Okay, so get your, get your coolions. Okay, grab them and do something. Cause the American people are fed up with you. We're fed up with you, Stonewall and everything. People are dying on the streets just a couple hours from your house, and you're sitting there and doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Call the Senate back in the session. Get people moving. You can maybe move some Republicans on this because of the tragedies. And you're going to do nothing, and we're going to be sitting here again a few weeks, a few months from now, holding parents in our arms that are crying, saying, why did this happen again in the United States? Enough, Mitch McConnell. Get off your ass and get something done. We're, we're fed up, Jim. I'm telling you, you, you don't have to spend much time. You're there right now. I, I think I know where your camera is. I can't see your shot. But right behind you, there's bullet holes in a right bar. Me. And we walked mm -hmm. through there the, right behind mm -hmm. you. We walked through there the other day, and the bouncer gave us a tour. And there were people stacked up in the back of that bar that that kid walked up to. And if he'd have got in there, if those cops weren't standing close by to shoot him, if he'd have got in there, we would have lost hundreds of people. And Mitch McConnell's doing nothing. This is unacceptable. Trump is d a dereliction of duty completely, and he's going to try to distract us. And I'm here to say, Ohioans aren't forgetting. We're going to see Mitch McConnell tomorrow, and we're inviting every surrounding state to get a caravan and meet us in, in Louisville, Kentucky tomorrow night. Details to follow. Listen, I, I, I hear your emotion. I hear your frustration. I know you're not alone, because I've heard it from folks here in Dayton. I've heard it from El Paso, and sadly, I've heard it in a dozen other places where I've covered shootings like this before. The, the, the question is, can that move? Can that move the immovable objects of, of the Senate Majority Leader, uh, of, of Republicans who are concerned about getting primaried because they don't have a perfect score from the NRA? I mean, it's the fundamental question. Is this time different? Do, do you see anything different this time that's going to make a real change? I, I think there's an accumulation of emotion. I know there is with me. I get moved from tears to outrage. And, and I think that there are moderate Republicans, sensible independents in places like Tennessee, in places like Ohio, in places like Indiana. Maybe we can get, in West Virginia, maybe we can get a few Republicans that will put their country 
and these families before their own political interests. Go read Profiles and Courage. Do whatever you have to do. I was in Congress with a lot of members, uh, Jim, who, who lost their seats over voting for the Affordable Care Act. And you know what? Whether you like the Affordable Care Act or not, they voted and they knew they were probably going to lose their seat. But they did it anyway. And what I'm saying is, isn't it worth it? Like, what are you going to tell your kids? Yeah, I was in Congress. I could have got, a, you know, I got an extra term out of it because I didn't do anything on gun control. Bullshit. Do something. Like, what are we here yeah. for? This is a citizen's legislature. Why are you in Congress? Why are you in Congress? You have the opportunity to actually save lives. And if you lose your seat, you're going to go make a million dollars in the private sector anyway. Because so what do you care? Like, go make a million dollars, go be with your kids, go buy a beach house. But do something before you leave, like pass uh, comprehensive uh, background checks and, and close the Charleston loophole. And let's try to get these weapons of war off the street. And you could walk out of the United States Senate with your head held high that you actually accomplished something as opposed to pad your pension.